Hey, which is it? And no, we're not watching the Wizard of Oz today in class, but I put a witch on here because we can determine which way it goes. So here we have the equation. Maybe I should put this down here today. You're going to have y equals a, your vertex, which is it. Here I see a dotted line. Okay. So I know that uh, my vertex is at just like one, two, three, four. Just like it's down one, two, I would say three. So it's a four, negative three. And because I see a dotted line, I know that it's going to be one with a bar, not a bar. There'll be no bar in it. And because I'm shaded below this point, I know the Y value has to be smaller. So the Y value has to be smaller than this. Now, all our A values on our particular problem, I think here today are going to be like in a sense of one. So because we're in the vertex is an inside layer, it's a positive four. So I'm going to write it X minus four squared minus three. I know it's a less than I've already determined that. And it's because it's a dotted line. There's no bar. I just wrote the equation from knowing its vertex and the way that it's shaded and whether the line is solid or dotted. So let's look at another one. First off, I might notice the vertex here. The vertex didn't move any left or right, so it's at zero. So it's down one, two, three, I think probably four. It's a solid line, so I know that it's a bar. And because we're shaded below it, I know it's going to be y less than or equal to. And I said my vertex is at zero, negative four. So that means in my horizontal shift, there would be like a minus zero, but I don't write minus zeros. It's a vertical shift down four. And because it is a less than or equal to a solid line and we're shaded below, that's what it would look like. Oh, okay. So here we go. So first off, it's a solid line. So I know we're going to have a bar. We're shaded above. So I know it's going to be a Y greater than or equal to. My vertex is at what? One, two, three. It's at negative three. Do I think? Negative two. Negative three, negative two. So we have to have inside liars when we go to write these. So because it's a negative three, it'll be a plus three in the parentheses, minus two. And I already determined that we shaded above it. It's a solid line, so it's going to be greater than with a bar. Ah, that's what I'm looking at. Solid line, dotted line, above or below, and the vertex. That's how I write these equations. Oh, this one's got a dotted line, so I know there's not going to be a bar. I'm shaded above it, so I know it's going to be a y greater than. And the vertex here is at negative 2, negative 4. But remember, these are horizontal liars or inside liars, so it'll be at plus 2 in parentheses, minus 4. And we were determined it's a greater than. Oh, so that's what we're doing. We're writing these equations based on what we're seeing on the graph. Yeah. Ooh, this one's not shaded. Oh, where's the vertex at? We know it's an equal if there's no shade. There's a solid line there. And the vertex is at negative 1, 2. So it's just the y equals negative. Notice, oh, oh, there's a negative here. Why is there a negative? Because this graph didn't go up. It went which way? Down. It reflected across the x. So there has to be a negative in front of the, for the a value here. Because it's a minus one becomes a plus one in here, squared two. The vertex is correct at negative one, two. It so equals, but because the graph didn't go up, I simply put a negative in front of that value right there. Oh, okay. So here this one goes down too. So I know I'm going to have a negative. It's got a solid line, and I'm uh, shaded above it. So if I'm shaded above it, it's got to be y greater than. And because it's a solid line greater than or equal to, with it, all right, my vertex is at negative 1, 2. So notice I have my 1, 2. And because it's going down instead of up, I put a negative, And I already determined it's y greater than or equal to this negative 1. It's quantity x plus 1 squared plus 2. Wow. Wow. So I've learned about whether the graphs are solid or dotted by whether it has the bar or not. And I know how to write the equation by looking at the graph, like solid or dotted line, above or below, the shading, and then where the, where's the vertex? And if it was not going up, it's got to have a negative in front. Oh, quite a bit.